Welcome to Deep Thought. Real life super humans. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go even deeper. I said, I, I, I said, nah, I ain't going to do the X-Men stuff in the uh, previous one. When I, I was just talking about like just the regular gifted. But you actually have people out there who got stuff that could almost be considered superhuman. Indeed, uh, I remember on the Discovery Channel, they would have some stuff like, uh, you know, about them. You know, you got, I remember one about a man who could, he just had super endurance and stuff. He could run like multiple marathons back to back. Like anybody who's in that area who does that, they know they they good for one good marathon, then they got to get some rest. But you had this guy, he could run back to back. Then another guy, you could put him in sub-zero water and he'd be okay. And you got some stuff. I remember there's a story about this child who came out just super muscular, super strong and everything. You actually have that. Now, they ain't going to be superheroes. You actually do have real-life superheroes, but these are people who just throw on a costume and, you know, do some community service, and every now and then some of them will deal with a criminal or something. But you got some real-life people out there who can do some extraordinary things. And like I said, there's been some stuff on, like, the Discovery Channel talking about them and even Stan Lee. They're doing some extraordinary things. And then you have people with psychic ability. You have people with actual psychic ability. And people will say, oh, wow. You, of course, you're always going to get somebody saying that's a scam, but you got some people has been tested. Indeed, the U.S. government, the U.S. government, they had, um, they actually worked with that. There's actually information about that. Uh, they got books out and stuff. It's been declassified. They were actually working on it. And then there's, Reports that they've worked on, uh, you know, with psychic individuals in Russia and also China. So you actually have that. And I know for a fact, like in in the community, especially in like New Age communities, uh, African traditional religious communities, they have people with, uh, we'll say, somebody would call that supernatural ability, but... You know, part of it, I was talking with uh, a woman who um, has psychic ability. She's kind of annoying to be around. She could see some stuff about me. I ain't need people to see. But <laughs> she was a sweetie, though. But they could, uh, what it is, she was saying that it's part, you know, it's the nervous system and everything. So it's not just there, but, you know, some people have a, a nervous system and a biology, a DNA that's uh, sensitive to certain energies. Because one of the things is, and this is another conversation, everything is energy. Western science has said everything is made of the same thing. So it's an energy thing. So, and, you know, that's another conversation, but you get some people sensitive to that energy. Indeed, you know, when you have uh, communities that communicate with spirits, what they really do is communicate with energy because energy doesn't die, it just transforms. Now, I don't want to get too deep. I don't want to uh, mess with anybody's sensibilities. So for those who don't believe in all of that, just keep an open mind while you're listening here. But it's all energy. And you got some people who can communicate with that energy or if they're around somebody, they, they, uh, they have heightened senses about that. Um, you know, they can actually see the energy. Like you have some people, when they say they see in auras, that's because they see in the energy that all people have. Like I said, they know about this. The sci- Western science knows about this. They've studied stuff like this. And I'm going to tell you what, even past life, even past life. Now, I know that goes against some people's uh, spiritual beliefs, and that's okay. That's okay. But, um, I've read where they've studied uh, past life phenomena and stuff like that uh, at the National Institute of Health in the Washington, D.C. area. I mean, officially, officially. And indeed, I knew someone who went to a psychiatrist. This is a regular mainstream psychiatrist that uh, did a past life regression on them. So there's more extraordinary stuff that's accepted, but, you know, the fact of the matter is we'll just focus. We'll, like I said, we'll just focus on just people who are extraordinary. They got they real life X-Men. They got real, you can call it powers. 
Indeed, I've talked about on my men's channel about people who can make, create an orgasm just without touching people. Because you have a growing subculture of people who do this. They're energetically, energetically, they can just hold their hand over somebody and cause them to move around. Energetically. I witnessed, I witnessed this. It was an incredible sight. Now, people will say, now, some people, I've shown that to some people or videos related to that right here on uh, YouTube. And, you know, some people say, oh, that's impossible and stuff. But understand something. Understand something. The human being is incredible. The human being is incredible. It's estimated that we only use at best, and I'm saying at best, this is extraordinary people, 10% of our true potential. 10%. So what about those people who tap into that 10% and maybe a little bit more? What do they have going on? Because think about it. You remember in the first, in the, uh, the last podcast, I talked about the gifted among us. You know, you have some people who are just smarter. You have some people who got a better awareness of people, emotional awareness. You have some people who are physically gifted as athletes. Think about how much further they can go. Naturally. And so you get some people, for whatever reason, just through a combination of things, they're able to take some stuff. Like I knew, um, I knew a guy, I knew a guy who was a college roommate. He could touch something electrical, wouldn't feel anything. He could, he could touch something, he could grab something electrical, it wouldn't feel anything. And now I'm thinking about it more. Or you get some people who can take a certain amount of pain easier, you know, or you got some people, or you had some people, um, I remember, now people ain't, you know, it's interesting, people ain't talking about uh, HIV as much as they used to. They ain't talking about it, but I remember there were a couple people found that had a natural immunity to it, and they were probably studying and everything. And you had some people like that. You had some people like that. You got people, they could probably... You know, they could probably drink a whole liquor store and still be just as sober because it doesn't affect them. Because there's a lot. There's a lot in our biology and things of that nature. And they, they're there. And like I said, they ain't on some superhero thing, well, at least not yet, where they say, oh, well, yeah, I can do this thing. Let me go fight crime. Uh, just real quick, that's because in the real world, somebody going to shoot you. Somebody going to shoot. Let me just say that real quick. So somebody, yeah, somebody might be able to, like, withstand, go to, like, you know, get in some cold water, withstand, like, zero-degree temperatures like it's nothing. Okay, how's that going to stop a criminal? You know? <laughs> or what if they say they want to be a villain? How's that going to help you rob a bank? <laughs> you know, so because when people have these extraordinary things, um, you know, it just affects how they move through life and everything, you know. It's, uh, I mean, maybe um, at maybe a circus show or something, they might try to exploit it or do something. Or, you know, you get some people with uh, psychic ability, supernatural ability, whatever, and they'll say, well, I'll do readings for people. And, you know, that's not bad. And, of course, you got a growing amount of energy healers. Any, like people just naturally heal, energy healers, which incidentally, that's something that people can be trained in. Anybody who's been trained in Reiki or other energy stuff, which uh, also has been um, verified by the government. Um, in fact, there's a lot of stuff. Let me just say something. I'm going to change it real quick. There's a lot of stuff that the government knows about they just don't talk about. There's a lot of stuff. And just one real quick, even like technology. The technology we use now on the internet, mouses, all that was available back in the 60s. Let me just say that. So there's also people, they know about real life superhumans and stuff. They're very aware, very, very aware. Indeed, you have some people who can actually grow back limbs. You got some people who can grow back limbs. So there's a lot. We do have real life superhumans among us. So, it's something for you to think about. And I'll get into why I even talked about the gifted and real-life superhumans in my next podcast. So anyway, I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.